We end tonight on this Father's Day with the story of a son who followed his father's footsteps, not into law enforcement, but the law. Here's Carter Evans. America first saw Enrique Camarena 33 years ago when the death of his father, Kiki Camarena, made national news. It was 1985 and the Camarenas were living in Guadalajara, Mexico. Enrique was only 11 years old, but he understood that his father was working undercover for the DEA. He was keeping drugs from coming to the United States. Shortly after helping bust a billion dollar marijuana operation, Kiki disappeared and the family home was suddenly filled with armed agents. Within about five or six hours, there's a dozen to two dozen agents that arrived. Were you scared for your father? Well, your dad's Superman. So you think, we'll see him, he'll, he'll be fine. But Kiki had been kidnapped. Enrique remembers how he and his brothers were rushed out of Mexico to the U.S. This linebacker of a man picks me up and fireman carries me and runs full sprint from my living room to a waiting vehicle. Kiki Camarena's body was found a month later. He'd been tortured to death with a drill. Years later, when Enrique was deciding on his own career, one late night conversation with his father stuck in his mind. He asked me, what do you want to be when you grow up? I said, I want to be just like you. And the answer was a swift, no, you're not. Wasn't going to have a uh, law enforcement son. So the son stayed away from law enforcement, but not the law. Enrique became a prosecutor. Good afternoon, Your Honor. And was appointed judge in 2014. Good morning, everyone. Where he now presides over cases involving children. She's in the right place to get ready for more time with dad. How do the lessons you learned from your dad over the years translate into your courtroom? He taught us to treat everyone fairly, to be respectful. Do you ever think about what your dad would think if he saw you now? Yeah. I I think, obviously, he'd be proud. Every week, Enrique visits the law enforcement memorial in San Diego and kisses his father's name, honoring his hero with his own service. Carter Evans, CBS News, San Diego.